Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. What am I going to do with you? I seen what you said. I got the screenshots and guess what little motherfucker? You're not gonna report me. You're not gonna do shit. And you wanna know why? Because that's a pussy move. You're a fucking scared little bitch. You're a fucking pussy. Only a bitch, a fucking coward, would report someone like me. See, instead of dealing with this shit like a man, you gotta go and cower to Facebook instead of facing up to, to the shit you did like a man. You see, that this freestyle that I did on you, you deserve that shit, son. You deserve that 110%. And you want to know why? You want to know why you deserve that? Because of the shit you said to me the other day. And also, the comments that you made, which were really fucked up. See, you brought on that diss all on your own, dude. So you're not going to do shit. You're going to leave me and my friends alone and stop your cowardice little bitching. That's what you're going to do. You're not going to report me. You're going to leave me alone. And you're going to leave everybody on my fucking friends list alone. Because let me tell you something, dude. I've had enough of this shit that you've been saying to me. Oh, like I, don't worry, dude. He's not getting to me. He's not getting to me at all. Not this time. You see, dude, you're not going to report me. What you're going to do is you're going to leave me alone and you're going to leave everybody on my friends list alone. And to everybody that doesn't know what's going on or the whole situation is the other day I made a post on Facebook you know, talking about people who are rich, because I do have a rich friend who is on YouTube, who is no longer a friend of mine because of some serious issues. But he decided to post on Facebook about how he struggles because he doesn't have any money and how he can't get what he wants. It's like, dude, and I told him straight up, I'm like, dude, there are people out there like me that don't have money, that do struggle to get by day to day, that do struggle month to month. Well, the dude that I called out and actually did a freestyle diss on the last couple videos, he, the reason why I did that, he decided to make some bullshit screwed up comments Stating that I need to stop bitching about people bitching about struggling. Like, and it's not just on YouTube that I face that type of stuff. I face it on Facebook, Instagram. Like, I see people who don't need to be bitching about shit. Bitching all the time. And I'm honestly getting tired of seeing it. You know, I'm getting tired of people bitching all the time. That's why I made that post. Because I'm tired of seeing people that aren't struggling, bitching about how they're supposedly struggling. Like, it's fraudulent. It's stupid. Like, if you're not struggling, don't say you're struggling. Okay, there are people like me who can't afford shit, who struggle. That was my point in that post. And the reason why I ripped on his ass is because of all the fucked up comments he's been making towards me. And I finally said, enough's enough. And I stood up for myself and put him in his place where he belongs. That's why I said what I said and did what I did. Hey, Joey, what's up, man? And I do get your point, dude. I really do. But honestly, it's people like him 
that don't get what I go through. I get what you're saying 100%, dude, and normally I would. I normally would just let it go in one ear, not the other. But this dude kept egging it on and egging it on. So really, he kind of had it coming. He kind of brought this on himself. Dude, you know damn well, Hunter, that the comments you made towards me were fucked up. And you know that, dude. And see, the reason why I ripped on you were because of those comments being so fucked up. And when you said what you said, saying that I don't get it and saying that you have the right to talk, when you say fucked up shit like that towards me, aimed at me, you don't have the right to speak about me. Because you don't know what I deal with. You don't know what I go through. And that's what I was trying to get across to you. But you did not want to fucking listen to me one bit. That's why I said what I said to you, man. And that's why I did what I did. Because you wouldn't shut your damn mouth and leave good enough alone. And quite honestly, dude, you really don't know what it's like for people like me. And you know, my friend Lucy's right, man. You do need to show some compassion and understanding. Because you don't understand my situation at all. And honest, quite frankly, I don't think you ever could understand it, to be honest with you. You don't know what it's like to wake up and face death every single day, not knowing if today's going to be the last day that you die or not. You weren't like me, dude. You weren't, you're not like me at all. You weren't born with one kidney or one and a half lungs. You weren't born with being half blind from eye surgery from time to time. You weren't born being fucked with like I was. You weren't born or go through the situations that I go through. So like Lucy said, dude, instead of running your mouth like you did, try to be more understanding about situations. Because unless you know the situation and what's really going on, you have no right to speak upon something that you know nothing about. You don't know what it's like for me to go through what I go through. You don't know the shit that I deal with every motherfucking day. And yeah, I do apologize if I was heavy handed, but dude, I gotta be defensive of myself, okay? When somebody comes at me the way that you came at me, I'm not just going to sit there and take it. I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm going to fight back. So really, in all honesty, dude, you kind of brought it on yourself doing what you did. And honestly, you had no right disrespecting me or my friends the way you did. And you can't tell me that you didn't because the way you worded shit, you did disrespect. And that's something that did start it off. So don't sit there for one second and play innocent because you're not innocent. And I'm not playing innocent either. I know I was heavy handed when I dissed on you like I did earlier. But like I said, dude, you had that coming. You asked for that when you did what you fucking did. Like, you can't sit there and tell me that if somebody, if you were in my position, you can't tell me that if somebody came at you the way that you came at me, that you wouldn't react the same way. Because you know damn good and well that you would, man. You don't know my situation. You don't know what it's like for me to face what I face. Every single day that I'm alive, I'm thankful that I'm alive. Do I worry that, you know, each day could be my last? Of course I do because of my medical situation. But on top of that, I deal with people like you every day bashing on me. Every day I get fucked with. I also deal with people from fucking record labels and companies telling me that I'm not good enough. That I suck. But yet I have fans to the roof telling me how good my stuff is. I get told that 
I'm not worth anything every fucking day by people like you. So really, man, you kind of asked for it. You really did by saying what you said to me. And in all honesty, dude, you can go ahead and report me all you want. That's on you. But personally, I would advise you to not report me. Because, you know, that just looks bad on you. Instead of manning up and dealing with your shit like a man, like I would do, you decide to go and report me. And instead of reporting me, dude, just if you don't like it or like what I'd say, unfriend and block me. Simple as that. You ain't got to report me. You ain't got to do any of that. Just unfriend and block me if you don't like me. I don't give a shit. You're just another fucking hater for me to put on my list. I don't care. Either way. It don't fucking matter to me, dude. And believe it or not, dude, I am a victim. It ain't no playing no victim card here. I'm not playing a victim card. Because you don't know my situation, man. You don't know what I deal with. And you want intelligent? Yeah. I'm intelligent. I'm more intelligent than you fucking running your mouth like you did, man. You brought this shit on yourself. You asked for this. Not me. You know, you could have left the post alone. You could have not commented. But instead you had to be a little troll. And put your two cents in. And then you turn around after my friends were trying everything they could to help me. You decide to butt in with that bullshit comment. Which you had no reason doing. Seriously, man. If you want to deal with it the right way, just unfriend and block me. You ain't got to report nobody or anything. Seriously. At least I'm smart enough to stand up for myself. Because believe it or not, I do get victimized a lot by a lot of people every day. And that's something that you don't understand. I really don't, you honestly don't get it. You really don't, man. Instead of fucking bitching like you're doing right now, if you don't like what I have to say, just go off and block me, dude. Seriously. It's not like I haven't had people block me before. I'm used to it. So, seriously, man. Instead of being a fucking coward and reporting me, why not just block me and get it over with? Unless you'd like me to do it for you, which I can do. I mean, if you want me to block you and a friend you, hey, I'll do it. I've done it before. I've got no problem doing it again. But seriously, though, instead of just jumping right out of the gate and saying stuff like what you said, try messaging the person next time, dude. Try talking to them. Try finding out what's really going on with them before you fucking make a comment like you did. Because what you said, that was fucked up. So, really, dude, what did you expect to come of this? Seriously, like, what did you expect to happen when you said what you said to me and started making those fucking comments? Like, did you really expect me to not stand up for myself and say something, dude? Because if you did expect that, you're sadly mistaken. When somebody says something wrong to me like what you did, of course I'm going to fucking fight back and stand up for myself. And the only reason why I called you out and ripped on you like I did was because of those fucking comments, dude. The comments in that, on those two live streams before that were the reason that I did what I did. And you can't tell me that I didn't have the right to do what I did. When you said what you said to me, that gave me every fucking right in the world to fire back. So don't think for a second that you're innocent in this, because you're not, dude. You're not innocent in this, Hunter. I'll admit, I was heavy-handed in retaliating the way I did. But, on that same, on that very same respect, 
on that very same side, how could you not expect me to fight back? Seriously. If you don't like me and you don't like what I have to say, simplest thing you can do is make it so you don't see my stuff, which you can do. You can make it to where you can not see stuff that I post. Or, quick as simple as saying, just unfriend and block me, dude. Simple as that, man. That's all you gotta do is just unfriend and block me if you don't like what I gotta say. Alright, I'll tell you what, dude. After this live stream, I will show it to you, man. It's the comment that you made where you said that I need to stop bitching about bitching. Like, that's what set it off. And you know damn well what comment I'm talking about. So don't fucking play stupid with me, dude. Seriously, don't play fucking dumb. You know what fucking comment I'm talking about. And like I said, before you know the situation at hand, don't fucking jump the gun and start jumping down somebody's throat like you did with me. Because that shit, that don't fucking fly with me, dude. I don't take shit from anybody, and that includes you. I never have taken shit from anybody, and nor will I start now. Because when you sat there and told me that I need to stop bitching about bitching, I had every reason in the world to do that. Because you don't know the situation. That's your problem. You jumped the gun and commented on something you know nothing about. A lot of the other people that commented, they asked what was going on. They asked me, they're like, hey, what's the deal? Like, why'd you make that post? Like, what's going on? They were smart about it. But you, you fucking just straight out jump the gun, just right out of the fucking gate, and assumed that I was saying something fucked up, when you had no idea about the situation at hand. Seriously. Before you start fucking jumping the gun, dude, and start commenting right away, ask the person what's going on. That's what I do. Whenever I see a post that does kind of catch my attention or kind of has me concerned, I'll message the person like, hey, what's the deal? Like, what's going on? Like, is there something I can do to help or what? But instead of doing that and messaging me, hey, like, what's going on? Like, what's with the post? You decide to jump the gun and say what you said. And that's what started all this, dude. Did I want to do what I did to you? No, I didn't want to rip on you like I did. I really didn't. Because I'm not normally one to bash on people or fire back like that. But with the shit that you were doing, dude, you literally left me no fucking choice but to fire back. Seriously, you left me no fucking choice, man. I didn't want to, but I had to. Because that was the only way I could fucking defend myself from your ass. That was the only way I could fucking make you see what was going on. Seriously. You need to fucking stop the shit you're doing. And quite honestly, man, you don't belong on social media as far as I'm concerned. And the reason why I say that is because when I see people like you, I see trolls. I see people that like to fucking comment on shit that they know nothing about. I see people that like to bash on other people and make fun of other people. And if that's the way you are, dude, which I'm pretty sure you are that way from everything that you've posted about on my shit and commented on, you don't need to be on social media. Like, seriously, you got no business... You know, saying the shit that you said. You got no business doing that at all. Like, I wouldn't go to your timeline and say that type of stuff to you 